This is going to be hooping from the, the waist to the, sh the shoulders. Um, and what you want to do is every single time the hoop walks goes in a circle, you're, it's going to leave an opening. And you're like, oh, there's an opening. Put my arm in it, go with the hoop, and lift it out. Oh, here's another opening. Go with the hoop and, and lift it out. So for those of you who kind of learned, it's kind of like this thing. Not the greatest start, but kind of like put your arm in every single time you see an opening. Just so to begin, stick your arm in out, arm in out, arm in out. I feel like I'm saying arm in one of your arm, but just arm in. Um, and then try it with, once you're comfortable with this, put your other, your other arm in there. So, so eventually you'll, you'll get the arm down. If sometimes you feel like your arm is left in there too long, you're like, oh shoot, the hoop touched my arm. That's okay. If the hoop happens to hit your arm as it's still in there, it means that you left it in there too long um, and you didn't take it out fast enough. But it also means just to not freak out because you need to get used to the, the hoop hitting your arm as it's on your waist because that's what's going to happen. As soon as the hoop comes and hits the back of you, and this is how you're going to lift the hoop up from your waist to your shoulders, you're going to want to, your arm, your, here's your shoulder relaxing, you're going to dip your arm further down. It's the opposite of a shrug. So you can dip your arm down, the hoop is going to dip down, arm's going to come around the hoop, then as it's on your skin, you're going to raise it up, like so. And it's going to go around, and the level is going to be right here, right here, and your other arm is going to be waiting, it's going to be like, whoa, okay, now we know we're this length, okay. You want to go further up, dip your arm down before it hits your, your skin. And as it's still, as it's going around your skin, bring it back up so that you, your other arm can be prepared. Bring it back up that way as well. Until you're ready and you like the level, then just continue to hoop that way using your four pushes. So I really hope that made sense in some way. Um, how fast it goes up. If you are going to dip your shoulder in as far as you can, it's going to take you around one two times. If you do very small ones, so small, 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 so this is small, 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 it's going to take a little bit longer and have a little bit more fluidity and you're going to be able to get into position for the shoulder hooping a little bit faster or with a little bit more ease. If you're hooping and you're doing big ones like big, 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 like big, 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 it's going to get up there really quickly. Um, so it just depends on what you want and if you're having problems with it, Kind of just walk in a circle. Have one foot planted and the other foot kind of like go around if you're sustained spinning. But if you already are at this level and you want to learn how to do this video, you already know how to hula hoop in a circle, like so. So doing this is going to make a lot of things easier. Um, same thing with sticking your arm in and bringing it back up. So hoop up, hoop up. You're going to have a lot more control if you go in a circle. And that is hooping, bringing the waist from the waist up to your shoulders and chest even, um, using your hands. See? And I will see you guys with the other tutorial. Bye.